you two, and I say that with all due reverence, the last two we have. We're all very anxious about this because here it comes now, the last fastest finger oh, question man. we're playing. Only one of you has to get it right. And here it is. Put these North American cities in geographical order, starting in the north. Vancouver, Nome, Tijuana, Sacramento. All right, time's up, everybody, all two of you. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting in the north, Nome, Alaska, Vancouver, Sacramento, and Tijuana, Mexico. Who got it right on the fastest time? Ladies and gentlemen, you saw all of those empty chairs, and now a moment of silence for Norm MacDonald. <laughs> we love you, Norm, and we'll be with you as soon as we can. As soon as we can. Right. Joy Behar, so good to see you here. Yes, yeah, so good to see you. And this is the first time, I mean, you've talked about it many times on The View, but the first time the American television audience will get a look at your boyfriend of 18 years. My spousal equivalent. Yes, uh, uh, Steve Janowitz. Steve, 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 nice to have you here. <laughs> He what? He's kind of a secret on The View, but, yeah. but this is a nighttime audience. That's right, sure. <laughs> 18 years 18 together. 18 dating, we dated, we've been dating for 18 years. Mm -hmm. Any? Plans to marry? Yes. No. And that's my final answer. Okay. <laughs> and Steve feels the same way, I'm sure. I suppose so. But you two guys are very happy together. Yes. That's great. Who are you playing for? I'm playing for the Northside Catholic Academy, mm -hmm. which is... Um, a school in my old neighborhood in Brooklyn, Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church, where I got married, and my mother and father got married in that church, and Father David Casada, actually Monsignor uh, David Casada, is like a one-man band, a charismatic leader who's been created this school, and I want to help these kids out, because I grew up in that same neighborhood. I didn't go to Catholic school. I was afraid of the nuns, but <laughs> I still think these kids should get a break, so I'm happy. Terrific. Them. I think that's wonderful. Now, let's talk about you. You you were a better high school teacher. I was a high school English teacher, but I, I really wish you would not keep emphasizing that. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people are intrigued with your voice. Yes. Tell me about your voice. Well, it's, it's, a, it's Italian. It's an Italiana voice. It's sort of like, you know, as if people say I sound like I have Jimmy Hoffa in the back of my throat. <laughs> and maybe you do. Or maybe I do. <laughs> All right, Joe, well, welcome to the show. Let's, uh, let's get started here. You know the rules. You know about the lifelines. Yeah. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here we go. Okay. All right, Ms. Behar. The pressure's on. Here it is for $100. According to the Bible, after Adam and Eve ate the apple, they dressed themselves in what? Grass skirts, fig leaves, fleece, Dockers. B, fig leaves. Fig leaves, what they use, yes, $100. $200. What is the name of a contest in which two teams pull on opposite ends of the rope? Tug of war, tons of fun, rope, burn a rama, divorce court. A, tug of war. Tug of war, yes, final answer, yes, yes. got it. $200. For $300, which of the following is the name of a pastry? My category. Let's go. Rabbit's foot, <laughs> bear claw, raccoon tail, limp biscuit. B, bear claw. Bear claw, the right answer for 300 $500. Traditionally, the end of a sale at an auction is marked by the sound of what? Gavel, horn, whistle, drum. A, gavel, sold to the highest bidder. Yes, got it, gavel. He's on fire for a thousand dollars. What three-digit exchange is most commonly used for fake telephone numbers mentioned on TV? Huh? <laughs> One twenty-three. Yeah. 
404-555-227. Huh? I don't even understand the question. Let's go over it again. <laughs> Three-digit exchange most commonly used for fake telephone numbers when Mentioned they mention them on TV. Oh, you have to pay attention, like when they pretend they're dialing? Yes. Oh. Oh, my dear. Let's see if Norm has any help. I doubt it. But five, five, five. Up. You want to help me more? Five, five, five. <laughs> That's it. All right. Thank you, Norm. Now, wait a minute. Come on. Let's, let's not lose sight of the fact that it's still Norm sitting there. <laughs> well, I mean, I I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why I know, because one time I was watching a movie and I thought, hey, I'm going to phone that dude up. <laughs> <laughs> that was really helpful. Okay, let's go to C. 555. Five, five. My God, I hope he's right. I hope he is, too. Final answer? Yeah. He's right for $1,000. Oh. <laughs> Come back, we'll continue with Joy Behar as she goes for two. Joy Behar has won $1,000, going for $2,000. Let me check in with Steve. Steve, what do you think, how do you think she's doing so far? I'm, I'm a little tense. I'm hoping that she'll just start flowing a little bit. It is tense to sit back there in yeah. that seat and watch your loved one. I, I don't think he has confidence the way he answered that question. <laughs> but he does look good in his George Raff shirt and Doesn't tie. Doesn't he, though? Absolutely. <laughs> now, Joy Behar is on The View every day on uh, ABC with uh, four, sometimes, uh, yes, four, four other, other women. Four other women, Barbara yes, Walters, Star Jones, Meredith Vieira, and Lisa Ling. Now, how are you all getting along? I hear there's trouble. Who told you that? Well, I just sense it. No, no, no. We get along just... We get along fine. We, Do you really? We, yes, yes. No rivalries developing? No, not at all. We're as close as you and Kathy were. <laughs> now, are you all intimidated by Barbara Walters? Yes. <laughs> Is she going to be upset that you're next to last here? She, no, because she understands that that machine does not indicate your intelligence, your level of IQ. Right, Norm? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something, though. Barbara Walters is, is going to be mad at me. I'll be surprised if uh, I can even come home tonight. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> Well, bring us up to date the next time we see you. We'd like to know how that works out. Hard to imagine that, mm. but anything is possible <laughs> today, be. sure. Could happen. All right, Joe, you want a thousand. We're going for two thousand. You're ten away from a million. Let's play. $2,000, what song made famous by Cindy Lauper was used in a long-running ad campaign for Kodak? Sheep Up, Time After Time, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, True Colors. Oh, well, it must be True Colors because it's about the kid Kodak, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. You still have your gang back there, Vivica, Tyra, 6 9 they're all there. Steve, just nod, okay? <laughs> Steve doesn't know either. He doesn't. No, this is this has gotta be. True colors. True colors. Final answer. Yeah. Yes, true colors. You got it. Good memory. Good memory. That was uh, 10, 12 years ago. Going for four thousand dollars right now. A crop duster is typically used to spray which of the following onto crops? What does it spray onto crops? Oh. Water, pesticide. Pollen, dye. B, pesticide. Final? Final. Yes, you got $4,000. Joy Behar going for $8,000 right now. In the Pepsi Challenge, consumers are asked to compare Pepsi to what other soft drink? You're not going to believe this. Go ahead. Sprite, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> Coca-Cola. Mountain Dew. It's got to be Coca-Cola. It's got to be. Because they're the only ones who... Uh, and my father works for Coca-Cola. Daddy, help me out here. C, Coca-Cola. Final. Right. 8,000. <laughs> well, that sound means we're out of time, but Norm McDonald still hasn't had a chance to play. Don't worry, Norm. We're going to come back tomorrow night. A new